Welcome to Rat Style Review. Today, I am joined by, I, I'm not going to be able to pronounce your last name, so you're going to have to do Just it. Just do Sammy T. Sam, all right, Sammy T. Perfect. Sammy T. Yep. From the band. I don't, I'm, <laughs> let's see if I can pronounce the band's name right. Riog? There it is. Perfect. You got it. Now, where did that name come from? It's a, it's a very so strange it's, name. So it's, it's, it's an Indonesian name. It's a, I kind of like the, when, when we were looking for the name of the band, uh, I was thinking Sepultura. That was the ah, idea. Okay. Se yep. Sepultura is a Brazilian name. It's weird, but yet when 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 you hear the name Sepultura, the, the discussion came. Where does that mean? Where are you guys from? And all right. that stuff. So Riog is an Indonesian uh, traditional dance where the the star of the dance is basically a creature, uh, a, a creature uh, amalgamation of a tiger and a peacock. And I kind of like that, you know, the softness and the hardness of the two. So in our logo, we have, uh, you know, like a ball and chain, spike balls and uh, right. and a rose on it. So we, we like melody, we like singing, we like ballads, but yet we like heavy stuff. Right. So that's where it's from. Yeah, I was going to say, your, I was going to say your, your logo is actually very unique. It looks like. Uh... Thank you. I, what, what is that like a clock or something or what what is that it's actually it's it's an r if you look at it oh okay it's an r oh I yes know. all right that kind of like r there's an o in it there's a when you squint your eyes you can see an r <laughs> that's uh <laughs> and and you know it's it's uh it's 4 30 somewhere so that's oh, the clock okay. too that's the reference to it it's like almost get out of work that's that's how okay <laughs> all right yeah, something so fun cool. you know something fun we can think of yeah no, definitely. That's cool. I, yeah, because I'm look, looking at it. I'm like, all right, that's an interesting logo. But now that you explain it, I totally understand it now. <laughs> yeah, when when you see the clock at 4, 4, 4.30, it's almost time to go home, man. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. <laughs> all right, so you're uh, you're based out of uh, L.A., right? Correct. In Los Angeles, uh, not far from Hollywood. That's the scene that inspired me the most. And that's the scene, you know, where where I kind of want to be in. So right. here we are. Yeah. So how is the scene now in LA? The scene is weird. So right. it's like uh, the, 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 you know, the usual venues and stages are still there, but right. it's so, it's so um, pre-sale money driven. Right. So right. it's, it's more like a, if you, if you, if you can sell the tickets, then you can play. And mm -hmm. at the end, it becomes if if you can pay for it, right. then you can play. It's no <laughs> longer about hey, let me check out your demo. Uh, I think you guys are perfect for this night. That's that's how that's how weird it is. But right. once in a while, you still have you know good bands like like you couldn't believe is like oh, this is why I love L.A. because this kind of bands. Once in a while, you do run into that. Right. Right. Yeah, we got this. I'm in uh, New York. Well, I'm, I'm on Long Island, but uh, when I used okay. to, I used to play out with my older, band, my first band, and we play in, in the city all the time. And uh, yes, it was just starting to be like how it is in L.A. With you know, you got to pay to play, you know, those big shows and stuff like that. And yes. yeah, it, it's it sucks for like you know smaller bands because sometimes you really can't afford to do that. You know, correct. So once in a while, we 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 do the way we we plan it. Usually, we play. Uh, we play smaller shows around the area, and then we say, "Hey, we're gonna play. We're gonna play uh, L, uh, whiskey at the end of this run." Mm. So, so kind of like uh, you know, like uh, making a point at the end of like a short tour, whatever short tour, not the tour because it's a regional user. Right, right. yeah. So, but you're in Long Island. That's a that's a place where usually if I look at the liner notes, it's like Long Island Dream Theater is, uh, you know, like oh yeah. The, the Petrucci, Long Island, and then I think uh, Steve I, Long Island. All these Italian guys with their virtuoso <laughs> guitars. Oh, it's yeah. all Long Island Italian, so that's how. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're all here. Actually, at the end, I think that John Petrucci actually still lives around here somewhere. Oh, uh, that's uh, what I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think they probably all still live around here, but uh, yeah, Long Island. Probably. You know, oh, a lot of good musicians. Here. It's the home of, uh, and I, I'm not a huge fan of him at all, but Billy Joel. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I love I love uh, Steve Stevens. So. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. But uh, wait, yeah. Billy Joel. Wait, wait a minute. Billy Not... Joel. 
Billy Joel. Yes, it, I'm, I'm confused. Bill, not Billy Idol. In my head, yes, yes, yes. Right. I'm like Billy, Billy Joel, yeah. the piano man. The piano man. Yes. <laughs> the American version of Elton John. That's how. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Not as good. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. So. But uh, so I'm listening to your um, your album, and I didn't realize it was a, a demo. Is there a reason why you re- wanted to release it as a demo instead of like an album? So, you... so which which one do you listen to? It's the first uh, things first. first things. Or... Yep. So first things first is actually a full album. Okay. Uh, a full like an, a, a full on EP that we release ourselves. So, right. so that was that was the one that we did. Uh, we released it in the beginning of 2019 or so. Just just the end of 2018, mm-hmm. beginning 2019. And it's a, it's a, it's not a demo. It's a full collections of songs that we did uh, uh, at the time. So what what happened was uh, in about 2014, the the old band. When I say the old band, is the 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 bands with the older with the old members left, and it's just oh, okay. me. Oh, and right. then I rebuild it with uh, with three more guys, and which now I've been in the band since you know. 2013 2014 and we we wrote these songs these songs and then uh we release it we said like let's just just do an ep and release it so, so we have something mm. so so that's that's the first the, the last effort we did so we've been working on a new one so because of these guys right now we we've been we've been a unit for for a good years now if it it's it's time for us to and we've been playing the old songs too so what okay. we f- we figure for the next release, we actually gonna do kind of like uh, best off, not uh-huh. the hits. Ain't got no hit, so <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, best of of you know the crowd favorites when we play shows and all that stuff from right. the previous releases that yeah, we play. You know, we we injected our influences these four guys now and make it you know uh, a cohesive albums uh, album instead of uh if if you listen to old album because we we've, we've been changing singers ever since our first one it's like at first i was playing uh guitar and also singing backing vocals there's another guy doing lead vocals and after that we we got a lead vocalist and then finally when when they all left i was like you know what i'm going to take over lead singing and and play rhythm right. uh exclusively so that's 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 what we uh, with this with this formation we want to release those those old songs mm-hmm. and make it make it uh making it new making it right now right. making it ours you know? right so right it's the next that's the next one it's uh i literally we're we're uh we're recording right now like i'm i'm taking vocals almost every night just to make sure it, it you know in in this month of, month of october i got you know able to finish all the vocal takes oh very cool uh now i yeah. did you want to become the vocalist or was that something you really didn't want to do or i actually starting off in in music as a singer oh, i right. did not how know how to play guitar not until college, you know, I went mm. to, from Indonesia, I went to college in Oklahoma State, and then oh, I'm out there in the country, I was like, wait a minute, there's <laughs> nothing here, I'm going to do something, so my friend loaned me a guitar and started learning how to play, right. literally from, you know, the beginning internet, remember Harmony Central, no. the, the web, so it's like, uh, it's, mm. it's the very beginning of, of tablature, oh, okay. so put okay. the fingers here, blah, 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 and then I learned how to play, and ever since it's like it's it becomes my second song, uh, second love. So I couldn't decide whether I want to be a singer, just like uh, my idol James Hetfield. He doesn't know how if he's gonna be a lead singer or or guitar player. So he decided right, right. to be both. So right. that's how I feel. <laughs> I love singing. That's the thing. I love singing. I love songs, and I also love crafting songs. And and play guitar. That's why I just love playing rhythm guitar. So I can I can be you know, un- underlying and un- un- underneath all of this you know the because we got we got Richard who's an amazing lead guitar player. So yeah. it's like take care of that stuff. Let me let me focus <laughs> on on guitar and having fun so I can connect with the with the with the audience and and have fun because huh. that's uh that's what's missing when you're playing uh guitar and singing because 
you know, usually there's no connection. But if I can at least allocate, you know, all the lead guitar player uh, playing to to Richard, he he'll handle all of that stuff. Right. Yeah. So that's that's kind of like the the gist of of in terms of guitar playing in in Riog. Uh, mm. I handle I handle the rhythm playing and sort of the melody stuff, the main melody, and then and then Richard handle all of the the lead guitar playing. So very cool. Yeah. So it's, it's it it does help having a second guitar player in the band. <laughs> it also gives yes. you a fuller sound as yes. well too when you play live. And correct. So. Correct. And it, you know that orchestration comes from that. So right. we most of the time me and him playing totally different things, and that's that's the way we layer it. So oh, wow. Yeah, so yeah, definitely. It gives it a whole unique sound as well, too. So, oh yeah, and then plus we 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 have we have Ralph. He's such a, I he's probably my my forever bass player uh, mm. because he's he's so good. Me and him, our playing is so in 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 sync with each other. Like mm. we can read our each other's minds. When he plays bass, it's like uh putting putting this bed of rock underneath the song, and right. you know. And and you know, uh, uh, that's the that's the rhythm section. And then Richard can can do you know it's uh his twiddly widdly on top. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, right? Well, that's that's cool. You know, that's good that you yes. you know you're gelling with the the rest of the band because you know that's especially if you're gonna yes. go back and record some of those older songs too, you're probably gonna add their own new flair to it as well. So it'll make those Correct. older songs a lot Correct. better as well. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what kind of musical background are, do you come from? Like, like what bands were you into? Oh, I'm I, growing up. Uh, I I love I love the big four. I love the big three of thrash from uh, Germany. You know, Creator, Destruction, mm -hmm. and and for me, the the, the third one is, gonna, is yeah, Halloween. Wait. So okay, good good so. choice there. <laughs> uh, got so there it is right there. There, there you go. There you go. I just bought a ticket for for June. Uh, they're they're coming up tour with Sabaton. So, oh, uh, where are they playing? They're uh, in June. They're gonna play at uh, the YouTube Theater right here. Really, uh, not far from where I live. Yes. Oh, yeah. Very interesting. So, All right, so I'll have to look out for tickets. Yeah. Then. That's. Yep. Yep. Because we we saw me and my wife went to see the the Pumpkin United tour, and mm -hmm. I was just blow no way like right. this is that's the that's the first band that ever pulled that off right i mean right like uh the band that pulled off all of the three singers from the three eras playing together and actually wrote an album right and actually got along it's amazing <laughs> it's, yeah yeah that's my favorite band by the way so they've never done any oh, nice. wrong <laughs> since like the beginning to me but uh oh i i agree yeah but uh, seeing them because... seeing that like that that tour that you went to I, I agree too I mean it was yeah. just awesome seeing them all together oh he froze up oh, you froze again up oh, you're back all right up oh, you froze again oh, yeah froze oh, there see, you go let's see. I don't know why this keeps happening tonight I think we're back now okay yeah I was I was saying it's it's like every every uh power metal after halloween mm. seems like a watered down version of whatever they're doing right yep that's how good they are in terms of songwriting i follow like this uh uh michael wykath mm -hmm. group in, in in on facebook and just you know just small tidbit about what you know how they write how they cuz they they I think they they most of the time they record in in the island of Tenerife, mm -hmm. where you know off of uh, the coast of Africa, where Andy Darius is living. Yeah, that's, that's, that's where, where his studio is. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, and they would go there and just I'm just amazed with this, with the songwriting ability of that band, especially especially Waiki, you know, because it's it's just to me he's. Oh, one of my my favorite songwriter of all time. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's like what, what's your favorite song that he's written? Uh, pretty much uh the 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 biggest hits in the uh, part two, Keepers. Oh, you know, okay. The, okay. Keepers one. It's all almost like uh uh 
Kai Hansen, and right. then number uh, the second part is mostly uh, Waikiki. Mm-hmm. So I just love those two albums, and then I know when I every time I listen to both of them, I'm always leaning towards uh, Keepers number two because because it's just songwriting is just so uh, there's there's a lot of humor in it. Mm-hmm. A lot of uh, uh, the 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 melody is sort of like poppy, but but not too much sugar on it. Right, it's right. just perfect mix. Yeah. And then the the topic too, like who come up with the you know idea like that Doctor Steen? And then you know, <laughs> my very first album was the uh, for Halloween was uh, that EP that they did live EP. Uh, uh, what you call it? Li- live in UK. Right. Yeah, it's got like four different names, but yeah. For yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. And in Indonesia, the reason I picked that up solely because of the cover. Really? I love, okay. Yes, because I love cartoons. I love drawings. I grew up with Mad Magazine. Every, mm-hmm. every time I I see Mad Magazine, I, I pick it up, and uh, just because of that cover, and I pick it up, and then I was so into the band, mm-hmm. and I was so much into it. This is this is probably interesting. Because mm-hmm. you're a fan of Halloween too, I was so into the band. I was longing for the next album, right? And right. what they gave us the next, it's the Pink Bubbles Go Ape, right? And I ate that and I loved it. So every time people say I don't like Pink Bubbles, I was like, that's one of my favorite albums because that's the 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 full album that excites me. After I discover uh discover them right. and then actually from pink bubbles then i learned about the keepers one and two right so it's backwards so and then of course after that it's it's a uh, chameleon which when i was like well what is this because <laughs> <laughs> it's completely it's like different all kind of stuff like, completely, completely different, different yeah. but i love so, that album I, I think it sounds awesome I, me too I think it, too. it's the best production they've ever had, to be honest. And I just I love the orchestra things that they've thrown in there. And just oh, yes. I don't know, it's so mix yes. of just a bunch of stuff. And, and I really liked how they pulled that off, even though I know I a lot really of people hate it. Albums but... like that. Right. And I'm, I'm like, I love like that al- one. Album, album. I'm a huge fan of the Kiss the Elder. And that's like a huge departure of what Kiss would have done. Yes. So it's like, yeah, you know, I love those awkward most of the time, not all the time. But a lot of those awkward albums from bands are, are usually pretty good. Yeah, for the latest one, probably not the latest one. Probably the one that I can think of right now is Extreme. Extreme had the three sides to every story, okay. and that is for me. That's the album from them. Not not the, uh, not the one before. Uh, what is the one with the? I'm not an Extreme uh, fan, so I don't know. Yeah, but uh, but for for me, that album is is just it has all kind of stuff it's so wide range right. and i love albums like that because yeah. i love i guess i love queen too i grew up with queen so that's another band that i you know take a lot of cues from oh yeah yeah well who, who can't like so, queen i mean it's, it's, yeah, it's I know. You know it's some people i work with you know they say they don't like queen but like, come on you like you hear a song on the radio you, you know you're gonna like it you know yes yes <laughs> especially but <laughs> at least bohemian rhapsody i mean everybody loves that at, at least <laughs> you can't not you, like that song if, if you hate that song, you will you will like we will rock you. I mean, that's right. the simplest yet so amazing. You know? exactly. So. exactly. What do you think of the movie? <laughs> Did you like the movie? I I, I like it. It's uh uh the 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 sexual part is not my cup of tea. I I wanted more so on how to show the the dynamics of the writing because to right. me this what's special about the band is how four of them have different influence but yet and they write separately Mm -hmm. but yet makes it every single song is is they put same effort it's it's rare in a band that you could do that like uh the the bass player would come in like hey i got a song and then you listen to uh this is gonna suck (laughs) but for for them it's like okay you know it 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 works or at least they made it work right yeah it's fine uh Go ahead. Uh, no, I can kind of relate to that actually because uh, I just started up another band and we've been working oh. on songs. We just finished a new album, and then we were working nice. on singles too. But every time, like we we start a song, and whoever gives me like the idea because I put my drums to it, so right. I'm listening to it. I'm like, this song's not going to be good, you know. And I put my drums to it, yes. and I still don't like it, you know. Yes. Then the, then yes. the guitar player, the bass player, puts his part in. I'm like, all right, now it's getting better, 
then the keyboard comes ah. in all right now and then the singer comes in i'm like all right now it makes sense finally and i've said that to yeah. every song that we've recorded so far <laughs> which you know, is funny but they've all came out like really good i'm like i've been happy i'm like thank god these came out so much better <laughs> there you go that's how it is i always tell my guys to like hey listen let's try it once you guys wrap your heads around it and put your influence in it it's going to be amazing because because we all working towards uh you know the same goal make it make that amazing so right yeah and that's and that's why i like you know creating music because especially with other people because i haven't done that in a long time and, and this is the first time i've been like in the full band before and uh, yes. you know for a long couple for a couple of years so it's nice to have all everybody's inputs on everything and you know just like with you guys you know it's it's and yeah. you're going to go back and record some of those songs and make those songs better. And, yes, you know, it's just uh, it's just, you know, it comes out. It's just it's this awesome thing. I can't even think of what I want to say, you know, just because uh, it, yeah. it makes you feel good. Right. Right. Exactly. Is, right. It just makes you feel good. It's I, you know, I can, you know, think about the song that I've been writing all day at work. And then right. it's that's all that fuel me throughout the days. You right. Know? Yeah, exactly. And and when you finally get that down and and it becomes oh a song God. and a full thing, you're like, thank God, you know, it's yes. you know, it's coming out great. So yeah. that's why I love music. So yeah, well, I yep. don't know what that's I would do. We're here talking. Love yeah, music. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, is the new out? You said a new album's being worked on. So uh, is it like almost done or what's going on? It's uh, the the drums mostly mostly done. The bass almost uh, mostly done. All the rhythm are all done. So it's just, it's just the vocals and and the lead guitar play, uh, lead guitar. So that's that's how that's how almost done it is. <laughs> right, right, right. At, at least the rhythm section, the base of it, the basic of it is is all there. Like the rhythm is probably the ones that I more labor over, and it's it's all there. And now it's just the vocals because the vocals is is it's it's funny R- recording. I love singing, but mm-hmm. recording vocal is one of the excruciating to me. It's like <laughs> it's like you you gotta get the mood right, and I hate to be that guy. It's like, dude, I don't have the mood for it. I right, hate right. to be that guy, yeah. but yet I do feel it when I when I when I record vocals. You know, right. because recording my guitars is is like uh well like uh, putting punch punch in time to work it's time to work i'm gonna do from eight o'clock till 10 o'clock and i'm gonna do rhythm and just focusing on that i can do that even after i eat mm-hmm. you know e- e- even after i work even after i wa- walk my dog i can do that whenever <laughs> but with vocals it's like i becomes you know the david lee roth moody shit you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, didn't, I don't like that but that's really how it is yeah his vocal is so personal right and and actually too like and and even you know for me like when i listen to a band my the first thing that attracts me to a band is the vocals most of the time the vocals and yes. so you know if you're not into the mood of singing and you know you you, yes. you put in an album and and it doesn't sound right you know you you got to think of that in your back of your head you know it's you got to record it when you're in the mood even with me when i if i'm not in the mood to play drums the song's gonna come out like yes. shit so i'm gonna have to redo yeah. it you know Yep. So I, I totally understand because you, you don't want to put out something with your name on it and you're not happy with it in the end. So correct. Correct. That's yes. one singing. thing you don't want to do. <laughs> but yet when it's play playing live, it's different thing. It's like, yes. I'm, oh yeah. Because I'm, you got the, the adrenaline from all the people. The adrenaline you know, from people. Yes. Yes. What, what, how, like when you do play live, like what's the turnout? Do you get like a, a huge turnout to your shows or. No, uh, depends really. Depends on depends on the night. Depends on who we got paired with, mm. uh, obviously. And uh, but when when everything lines up with a good headliner or 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 with a good with other bands that's also in the same genre, and it feels good, the crowd giving it to you is just perfect. So, right. you know, we 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 did when we released the album of uh uh. uh Forever uh, tears falling. Uh, this the album before the EP with mm. the with the with the old formation. When we released it, place was packed. We we packed out the whiskey, you know. So oh, wow. and we had line. It was it was nice. So it really depends on when 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 the weather in LA when it's 
when it's raining, no one mm-hmm. drives or no one can drive. <laughs> it's like everybody, I, I think everybody's watching their wipers like, oh, I cannot drive. That's <laughs> Jeez. People are terrible over there. <laughs> People are terrible. With, with, yeah. In L.A. because it, it, it doesn't rain here. That's right. The yeah. Thing. Yeah. So when it rains, I can it imagine chaos. if it snows, if it ever snows there, what are you people oh. going to do? <laughs> they go outside like uh, it actually happens in, in the middle of it's weird in the middle of a uh, sort of a not not quite summer. And we have June gloom here. Right. And then right. sometimes and last I think last year or in the middle of pandemic, it's actually snowing uh, at least where I am. I'm nearby LAX mm-hmm. uh, on the west side of L.A. And then. I could see flakes coming down. It was it was unreal. But oh, really? uh, yeah, people just going outside like, oh, what the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> like morons, man. <laughs> Everybody back in your house. <laughs> Get in. What are you doing? <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, so, uh, do you have anything lined up, like any kind of shows or anything? Or actually, you know what? Before we, you get to... we do. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, no, we have uh, the. Because we're we're concentrating on recording right now, we only have one show for October, and that's going to be a house party with oh. two other bands, our friends that we we've been playing the circuits, and uh, that's going to be that's going to be fun. Because mm-hmm. I, I just went to 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 see the setup; it's in the garage, you know, like old oh, really? house party <laughs> with the PA's, yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. how's the neighbors going to be? You know, because right. we're going to be loud. Right. And they're like, oh, that's no problem. We hear parties five blocks from here and and people show up and uh, it's going to be fun. I'm look, I'm so looking forward to this one. That, and that'll then, be interesting. Yeah, we're going to play. We're going to play uh, next month. Uh, we actually got invited to to be the direct support of this band from San Antonio. Jesse Kill. Okay. Incredible band. They they actually just toured United States with uh with Ingve, Ingve oh, all right. Okay. So we're so excited about them because uh, we we played we played a show a year ago with them, and they totally stayed throughout our our set. And, oh, wow. and they're like, "We gotta play with you guys. Go to San Antonio. We gonna set up." I said, "Yeah, great, great." So they coming back here, and they they asked the venue if if we can open for them, and uh, we said yes. It's gonna be on on week weeknights and uh froze again. Damn it. You make me do a lot of editing. <laughs> it's damn freezing. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's just weird. Almost. All right, yeah. good. No, you can continue okay. now. Okay. So that's that's the that's the that's the big show I'm excited about excited about next next month. Uh we have we have uh, also one show opening up for a uh, for a Black Sabbath tribute band right here in Santa Monica, and I'm looking forward to that too because we rarely play uh, West LA. This this mm-hmm. this is where I live. Uh, okay, my my hood. <laughs> <laughs> so so I'm excited about that, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a in December. I'm gonna have a birthday party with a show that's going to be good too so huh. birthday bash oh yeah. wow cool very good sounds like you got a lot of fun yeah. stuff coming up then yep yep so what's the favorite show very you've exciting. played so far because you have played with some bands right yes we we played uh with all kind of bands but uh so the very first show this is this go 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 back all the way to 2007 2006 wow. the first the first uh, show that we got offered to play was in Whiskey a Gogo open for Joey Belladonna just before he uh, reunited with Anthrax okay so i don't i don't know if we have to, but there's a funny story about this all right so right. we we came in we came in early to set up right this is our first show we want to make sure it's perfect of course so right. we came in early to the sound check and then we just hanging out by the stage this is like around four o'clock the door open at seven or six o'clock and here comes and i was on the side i was on the on the floor mm. on the corner and all of a sudden uh joey came showed up and everybody looking to him right look to him because he's the headliner of the night right. so 
ever to look at him, but he he point at me, <laughs> and then he's like, "Dude, you're here." I'm like, "Yeah," and in my head, like, <laughs> I never met you, Joy. And then he's like, "Dude, you're here, Sammy," and he called my name, Sammy. Really? Holy shit! Yes, and then I approach him because oh. I'm like, "Hey." Joey Belladonna know my name. <laughs> I came <laughs> over. And as as I approached, I could tell him he realized this is not the Sammy he was thinking. <laughs> this is another Sammy. So he was like awkwardly like, oh, are you playing too tonight? I said, yeah, we're playing. We're going to be the second band of the night, blah, blah, blah. And then and I said, you know, my name is actually Sammy. He's like, oh, shit, you really? I thought I thought it was, <laughs> That's it too was funny. totally out of nowhere. So Joey Belladonna. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a a doppelganger out there. <laughs> yes, out there, out there, somewhere. That's too funny. You, do you have any any idea who the hell he was actually th- thought you were? I have no idea. I think I think he was uh, one of the sound men that he knows before oh, okay. that he thought you know that he would hang out once in a while. So yeah, in, in L.A., there's so I'm the native guy anywhere. If I. <laughs> Anywhere I go, there's gotta be some doppelganger, you know. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. I got mistaken for Kirk Hammett. It was like, uh, "Whoa, Kirk!" And I said, <laughs> "Not, not tonight." <laughs> I said, "Not tonight." And then I was like, "Oh, that was Kirk, Kirk Hammett." <laughs> That's funny. And you break out your wah wah pedal. <laughs> yes, always. I carry it in my satchel. <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. Uh, but I, I, I'm a huge fan of uh, Joey De- Belladonna. I'm a, a huge Anthrax fan too. So I'm a huge Anthrax fan. Uh, yes, that's another band too that I couldn't. I couldn't. It's just, even even the the album that they don't like, which is State of Euphoria. I love it. That's right. that. That's that's the era that I actually started with. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Yeah. I actually started so, uh, started on the uh, John Bush era. Sound oh, of, sound really? of white noise. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I yes. I liked some of the anthrax, the older songs, but yes. when, when uh when only came out, I was like, holy shit, I gotta get that album. So, dude, when when it came out, I know Joey is not in there, but I was like, I'm totally blown away by it because mm-hmm. it's totally different feel. It's it's colder, right? Oh, yeah. That's how yep. I feel when I it's colder, but yet it's a contrast and a good contrast with uh with the persistence of time, right? So because yeah, they were heading in that direction back anyway. Back. So oh, yeah. amazing. Yeah, they can't do no wrong in my book either. I didn't like the last album, which was very upsetting to me. The the one, the last one. Yeah, the last I, one is 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 okay. Yeah, because I, I, it got rave reviews, uh, which I again I don't understand. And, and we actually just did a show. We, we've been uh, my my regular show. We did like a, a battle yes. between Judas Priest and Iron Maiden, and oh. um, we just did Redeemer of Souls versus uh, Book of Souls and uh, Final Frontier. That doesn't matter, mm-hmm. but the point is that. Everybody says that the Redeemer of Souls from Judas Priest is like, you know, one of the, the one of their better albums, you know, and uh, me and one of the other guys on the show on the show just ripped that album apart. We both think it's terrible. Wow, wow. <laughs> and that, that's how I feel about that Anthrax album. Like everybody gotcha. raves about that Anthrax album, and I just don't, I don't hear it. Just like the Judas Priest album, I don't, I don't hear it. It just sounds garbage. Gotcha, I don't know. gotcha. So don't, don't hey, release the honest. Redeemer. I, I know we'll have to be honest <laughs> <laughs> you have to you have to My so job. that way when you say when you say you kind of dig our stuff that's that's the uh, that's a lot to me that's a right lot yeah me. no your stuff is great and and i was reading like with your your bio here you said you know there's some influences of like megadeth and like uh, ozzy and stuff like yes. that and I, I definitely do hear that in there and and I can't wait to hear, you know, the, the full album, you guys with the new band and everything. So I think it's going to be pretty good. And your vocals are awesome, by the way. So can't thank wait to you, hear some. Thank uh, you so much. Appreciate you know, it. studio stuff that you're singing on here. So it's going to be really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank, any thank you, any man. idea when you you think you're going to have it done or want to have it done by? Uh, I I want to have it done just before the end of the year. But uh, I, I know I'm going to be traveling. Uh, by the end of the year so i don't know when i think it's going to be recorded at least all my parts and then give it to to richard to finish all the the sugaring on the top so he's because he's gonna do all kind of lead guitar playing because he's the thing is with him i i love how he can come up with parts it's like orchestration he just by himself is orchestration Mm. because he's he's 
he's such a geek in the and I and I mean it in the in a best way because he's he has a a master's degree in in classical guitar. Oh, okay. So that's yeah. how actually so he's very very good with technique and theory and I got nothing on it. So he's he's <laughs> on the opposite of me and then he could listen to this melody and then I said put it on put it on and we can always <laughs> mix it low or not but it, it create the overall uh, orchestration in your head. You close right, your right. eyes and then you you paint pictures with these with these uh, heavy guitars and and leads, you know. Right, right. We right. love all that stuff. Still yeah. like a kid, you know. Exactly. Awesome. Well, uh, where can people go to uh, look up the band, like uh, your websites or you know, Insta, social medias and all that? So for website, go to reogband.com, R-E-O-G-B-E-B-A-N-D, reogband.com. And for all other social media, go to reog music, R-E-O-G music, and, and the usual, you know, Facebook, IG, and uh, yeah, check us out in YouTube. We, we start doing this uh, documenting our shows not just the show itself but the the you know the preparation for it you know make it like a vlog videos we started oh, doing cool. that because we just want to show people how you know the the struggle of it the fun of it you know right. with the people behind the state behind the, the scenes so we start doing that so subscribe and add and like Spare, share it out so yeah very it's a very good idea too because uh, everything seems to be well everything is uh you know around social media and then especially with like youtube even our show does better on youtube than it does on like podcasting platforms so youtube mm -hmm. is the place to go and and doing that showing people behind the scenes of how you guys are working on songs and preparing for shows and stuff like that that helps a lot yes. you know? so that's yes. that's a cool yes. cool idea so i might, I might yeah. steal that yeah there you go it's yours. <laughs> Fine, I'm taking it. Uh, well, Sammy, thank you very much for actually showing up this time and coming on the show. Hey, thank you. And thank you for inviting me back without, you know. No problem. But, you're uh, always you're welcome back to come on again, especially when the album's done. So we can uh, definitely talk about that. Thank you, sir. All Appreciate right. it. All right. And everybody, thank you much. Thank you very much for watching the show. Go to ratsoutreview.com and go to riagband.com. And we will see you guys next week. Bye bye. You. Looking for some new podcasts to listen to? Well, look no further than the Rats Eye Review Network. Rats Eye Review is taking over the podcast world with plenty of shows to choose from within their network of entertaining programming, including the flagship show Rats Eye Review with Wayne Noon, Greg Noggle, and Lou Mavs, as well as occasional co hosts Manny Mejias and James Lilquist. We also have the official Rats Eye Review spin offs, such as Album vs. Album, Screams from the Grave, where we discuss beloved yet forgotten hard rock and metal albums of the past and a king diamond podcast called this broadcast belongs to them we've also got old man metals musings the right opinion with harrison bergeron beyond bushido a podcast dedicated to pro wrestling and mma with james Elquist and eric adams no relation to the guy from manowar or the mayor of new york city the viera vault with ralph viera schmackle a to you too ralph the timo Toki podcast featuring stradivarius and avalon founding member timo Toki. the bs sessions with mark and jerry Just just the Cheese Please, a podcast dedicated to cheesy films of the 1980s with Tara J and Adam. The Friday Night Party with the great Harry Barnett and Evie. And the Music is Life podcast with Lou Mavs. The Rat Style Review Network is your go-to one-stop shop for the best podcasts out there today. Go to RatStyleReview.com for more info. And to find out where you can find, follow, subscribe, and comment on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and all streaming platforms. The Rat Style Review Network. We're, We're taking over. Over.